Hey, Ed, it's Ed, and I'm back. I put out a request a month or so ago about some help with pictures or diagrams of reversing valves, uh, changeover valves, four-way valves, whatever you want to call them. And I got some help, and I'm putting this stuff together now, and I thought I might share some pretty cool stuff. First off, uh, when I was going through this, this is the original slide that I have used to show how a reversing valve works for a very long time. And it's kind of ironic because the, and I don't know where this image came from. I believe it was a textbook. Uh, and I'm going to stick with that story, but it's funny you find stuff in textbooks that's wrong. Uh, and I'm not criticizing. It's just, uh, I got plenty of stuff out there that's wrong. But they're showing this low pressure liquid uh, as the suction gas in this four way valve. And I'm like, wow, that's kind of crazy. So just moving forward, I'll show you how I, I repaired it. But this is the one that I use how, uh, to explain the process or the function, there's a better word, of a reversing valve. And it's really nothing more than uh, low pressure on one side of the valve is allowed to exist through the, the solenoid and the tubing that's attached to it. And then high pressure takes over low pressure and that's what makes the, the slide move in that direction. And conversely, uh, the previous one we were making air conditioning, now we're, I think we're making heat. You know, we got hot gas going into our indoor coil, so we're making heat. And low pressure is over here, so high pressure overtakes it. And what causes the valve to actually shift is the pressure differential. Pretty straightforward stuff. I don't like the way this is drawn, and I never found anything better. All right, so I had uh, this guy, Brian, I know, uh, offered to send me some good illustrations. And yes, they're good. And they're exactly what I was after so to speak. So if you look up here, this assembly uh, really resembles the reversing valve itself. And many years ago, and I want to say it was Andy Shane, but I'm not sure, had told me that a reversing valve, the sol solenoid assembly, uh, looks like a mini reversing valve. And it does. It, it's doing a very similar function. That slide redirects the flow or uh, allows uh, high pressure to overcome low pressure and it moves back and forth. In this example right here, hot gas is going to the outdoor coil, so we're making air conditioning. And then in this next slide, hot gas is going to the indoor coil and we're making heat. And it literally, if you look at the, the guts here and the guts here, they look um, very similar. So it is kind of like a mini reversing valve inside of a mini reversing valve. That is a screen capture of a video that Brian took and they're better <laughs> with their cutting stuff in half skills than I am. But there are the little holes. There's the, the cup. I don't know what that specifically is called, but that's what re redirects the flow from these two to these two or vice versa. And you can see where uh, that same assembly is in the photograph from before. And you can see where they took a saw and they were able to successfully slice it in half. Uh, there are some photos that I took at something a while back that give you a real good insight into what the slide assembly looks like here and where the refrigerant actually gets redirected from pipe to pipe. And that one right there is a good example of my handiwork and now you know why I kind of giggled about having somebody else uh, be able to do this because uh, I'm a bull in a china shop. But I knew what a reversing valve looked like inside because I did this. You know, the delicate parts that you can't overheat and why you don't smack it with a wrench and all that good stuff. All right, I was trying to make this quick. I think I was successful. Thanks to everybody who, who helped and or tried to help. Um, I appreciate it. And I'm a big believer in sharing this content. We call it R&D, which a lot of people will associate with research and development. It's not. It's called Robin Duplicate. See you later.